Hey everyone, today we are back with a landscaping job. We'll be heading over to the shop this morning here in the 2017 Chevy 3500. Today we've been hired by a local contractor. He's been working on an unfinished house and he needs a yard brush mowed. He said the grass is over a foot tall. There is a little bit of debris in the yard. So that's why we are going to be using the brand new brush hog in the Bobcat S590. We're also beginning to use a brand new tote deck trailer which is pretty exciting. I'm excited to be back here with the landscaping series doing some work here. We recently moved here to the new map and new shop. Even though it's the winter time, we are still taking on some jobs here. The majority of our equipment still has the plows on them, but this truck and a few of the skids do not, and we'll be able to do some jobs. Now, it is only around 52 degrees out this morning. It's a bit chilly, but we should be able to have no problem here. Let's head on inside to the office. There's a little bit of paperwork I have to do. We have actually been Picking up a lot of customers. I've been out doing lots of quotes, and that's really good to hear, guys. Being busy even during the off season is always great. So I'll have to look on the computer, just make sure everything's good to go here. But before we do that, let's take a look at what we'll be using. We'll be using the Bobcat S590 skids here. I did put a few extra weights on because this is one massive brush hog. This is a John Deere RX 84B, 84 inch wide brush hog. It's going to take a lot of horsepower, uh, just a lot of power in general and a lot uh, heavier than some of our previous ones here but you guys can see this thing looks pretty sweet one huge blade there now the salesman where I picked this up said this could uh, completely remove a four inch uh, thick tree so it should be able to handle the grass and all these little brush even a few small pieces of wood here but I will do a few things here in the office and we'll get everything loaded up to head on out We're on the way to the job now after getting everything loaded on up here. Now I've been really excited to make these videos here with that new camera angle, the camera and tripod. My plan is to bring those to a lot more videos as well. So let me know down below guys, how do you like that? It's kind of a nice touch, unique thing and it's always nice to change it on up here. But loading the skids here onto this was no problem. Really do like the tilt deck trailer, good purchase. And I think maybe we might just have to pick up another one here. But using the skids here with the dually, I think is always a way to go here, but we are coming up on the house. It is unfinished. They uh, still need to do like three, four months of work here on it. So there's still a lot more work to be done. Uh, but let's get it unstrapped here, get it warmed up, and then we'll take a full walk around here. But you guys can see just look at how wide an 84 inch brush hog is. Even on the trailer, it overhangs here. But wow, this trailer looks uh, pretty sweet here. Big shout out goes out to the rental man buck for making it and releasing it. I really do like it quite a lot here one of the best uh, trailers I've seen in farm sim in a very long time here and this thing will work pretty well uh, for not only landscaping some uh, other uh, series as well here but we'll get everything backed off and hope everyone has been having a pretty good day here so far but let's take a quick walk around wow only looks like they have the studs put on the building that is a lot of work ahead of us now they said the property line was roughly in between these uh, two trees a white in that uh, brown tree there so that's where it is there and they 
Johnny said the creek. Uh, yes, there's a creek over here. Hopefully we don't slide on in here, but there looks to be a creek. Oh yeah, that looks to be pretty dried up. Seems solid. Now I do see some branches, some wood, uh, everything all around here, but I don't think we'll have a problem. Let's hop in the skid steer here, get the brush hog fired on up here. Now, really quickly, I do want to take a look at that. Wow, that is massive. Imagine an 84-inch blade uh, spinning below here. This thing is meant to do some serious business, some serious work, and that is always really nice here. But I hope everyone has been just having a pretty good day so far. It is 2021, which I'm really excited for here. Lots of big things coming to the channel, and hopefully we could continue to make lots of videos, and I definitely want to play some other games as well here but this skid steer look at that no problem a uh, skid steer with a brush hog is almost like a zero turn in my opinion is just so uh, maneuverable around these yards and areas here but if we do uh, kind of come up on even some stones we might have to hop on out here hopefully we don't break it it's a brand new brush hog I paid just over $2,300 here for it I thought that was a pretty fair price for it it is a John Deere brand so you're paying a little bit extra for uh, it being a deer but uh, no problem so far. Now I have been posting every uh, single day over on Instagram as well so if you do have it go check me out over there it is a lot of fun to interact with you guys and I have been posting some uh, time lapse videos of mowing and different things like that over on Square Farms as well uh, that is a lot of fun over there uh, to post that type of content but what I'm thinking is over there where the creek is we will actually set up the camera and tripod there get some more action of that I just really do like that camera view guys it's such a neat thing uh, just setting that up here in farm sim and you guys seem to be liking it so far here but kind of slow it looks like we're only doing about eight nine miles per hour which is pretty fast though for brush mowing definitely pretty heavy in areas it looks like this yard probably needs to be reseeded redug up and i'll probably offer that service here but with the landscaping company here on the mills county map we have a lot of plans i really want to get into maybe a swimming pool demolition things like that i think those would be a lot of fun but also uh, more excavation. We do have a few excavators. We just picked up a uh, huge 20-ton uh, uh, dump truck. So uh, we have a lot to look forward to with this uh, series here. And I really want to do more with the property maintenance series on the Xbox as well. That's been a fun one. And maybe we could get the excavator out or even when the skid's out soon there. But we're making pretty good progress. We still have a lot uh, to get mowed here on. But uh, we're, uh, I mean, it's not taking too, too long. Now this bobcat here, I do have plans to trade it in here. We have just around uh, 300 hours here on it. The hours keep going up, and I really want to trade this in. We need a track skid steer. We need it for the winter. Tracks are a lot better uh, for uh, snow plowing, but also uh, for what we do here with the type of work we do. I think the tracks is going to be the number one choice. We'll have to do that soon, along with uh, maybe get some a uh, few other things here. And there is a lot of mods in the works as well, which I'm excited to kind of record and use in upcoming videos. All right, we're just finishing this up here. Let's kind of hop on out of the skids here. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to set up the tripod with the camera. We should be able to get all this mode here pretty quickly and it'll be kind of a neat camera view as well.
There we have it, we just finished this job here. It was a pretty quick and easy one here. Just had to uh, do a lot of work here doing the brush mowing, but this worked pretty well here for us. Let's get her all loaded on up, and let's get back over to the shop here. Now, I definitely will have to send out the bill to get paid. We always want to be paid within a week of doing the job here. Now, with the tow trailer, I always try to kind of center the weight over the axles or uh, just have 10% on the tongue here. We don't want too much uh, to be undrivable and too heavy on the back of the truck but we do want it to be pretty realistic as well here so that looks to be pretty good that's all strapped down let's just put a few tie down straps on it to not have the load shift around on us but I think I'll get the truck and a, a trailer turned around here and we'll catch you back on the way back to the shop this 2017 Chevy Duramax is one of my favorite silver auto body styles. I really do like it quite a lot here, especially with a little bit of chrome through into the front end, but also having the color match bumper just looks pretty sweet. I really do like our truck lineup. We have some really nice work trucks, but I am always looking to the future here. Now, we do have some employees that we'll be hiring soon as well, which I can't wait for as well. That will be pretty exciting uh, to have some more employees to help us out to uh, get more work done. It and to make more money here with it. We made it back here to the shop. I'll get everything unloaded in, head home for the day. But hope you guys enjoyed today's landscaping video. It was a pretty fun one. Brush mowing at an unfinished house. And also let me know, do you enjoy the camera and tripod? That second camera angle, it is pretty cool. Uh, switching between uh, two computers to record these videos now. But let me know. Thanks for watching. Go check out all the mods up on my website and subscribe for more.